Okay guys, I'm uh, going to uh, shut the power off to this uh, furnace so we can change out that thermostat down there. Sorry I don't have any lighting with me, but now remember this is probably from my other videos. I put the uh, safety float on it. And here's the disconnect. I'm going to turn that off so I won't have power down there while I'm changing the thermostat. Okay, guys, I'm going to remove this old Chronotherm 3 here. Make way for the new uh, honey wheel. Hey guys, I'm, this new Honeywell thermostat is going to need a common wire, or it doesn't have to have it, but I like to use it when I can, and there was an extra wire there. That's the blue one right there. I already got it connected down at the thermostat, see? So I'm going to connect it here to the common on the board, and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay guys, got the common connected, so the thermostat will have power. It won't be totally relying on those batteries. The bowl compartment staying clean on this furnace. It's only been in here about a year or so. Wheels are still looking pretty clean. Okay guys, I got the new thermostat installed. Got it set for heat down there and I'm gonna turn the disconnect back on up here and we're gonna do a start up. Make sure everything's working out. I think they've used the heat a few times and it's done, done okay, but I'm just going to take a peek here and make sure everything looks right. Alright, just uh Heats off. Just changed this filter two days ago. This is the downstairs unit. Hey okay, guys, this Honeywell's got the same uh, problem as the one downstairs we're going to replace it to. See, the display is getting where you can't see it. And it flashes replaced batteries even though you've got new batteries in there because the contacts are worn out. But anyway, I don't have another one today, so I'm just going to do it test out of the furnace here and see what happens make sure it's in where it makes sure it's ready to go so I'm gonna hold temp I can't even do it because it's running running on its batteries huh